Hey guys, today I just want to present you a few moments of a different bow technique. So my name is Walter Schumann and as usual, usually I like always to um, make a small um, live streams and chats to where I express my personal opinion of my studies with my teachers and in the past and my friends, co-workers or other who have been uh, students to uh, very famous names around the world. So here, this is my violin of course, um, I just want to present you something that lots of musicians are deliberating and talking over and over and over about, you know, about bow technique. And more specifically, when we talk about the bow technique, we're talking about the catch the way we hold the bow, so bow holding. So here is the bow, this bow is very nice, you know, believe me. And here is this bow, and um, we have a standard, standardized uh, type of um, holding the bow. For instance, the most standard way is just you put your hand, you know, you just keep it this way, right? And everything goes uh, practically, let me see if I can just come this way, okay. You see, that's how it is. And then I'm gonna come back here and so. But what differs the different uh, schools and different bow technique and bow hold? It's the origin, the place uh, they take and they develop, they evolve from one bow holding to the current and the contemporary bow holding that we have our days. So um, if we go back to the Baroque, the distinct Distinguish and distinguish schools at the time was the Italian, French, and the German, and so most of them uh, were holding their bows pretty much. I mean, the Baroque bow it it was a little bit different in shape, and you know, like for instance, we see here that like if we go back, you know, we see that's a little the curb is going on downside. And down, downside, but in the past the curb was going a little bit above, like you know, like arch. Mm. That's how the name comes arch, the arch bow, uh, which is bow, and the arch also means you know, arco. Arco means string, and uh, this is something that a lot of people doesn't know. It means string instrument, it's come from the Latin and Italian word arco. Arche, and from there comes the archery, you know, skills and uh, sports. However, it means bow technique instruments. So what what I would like to say also is that they were three distinguished. Hey, so three distinguished, uh, distinct, distinctive uh, schools. The one is the French, the other is a German and Italian. Later on become an old Russian. So let's start with the French. The French one has been very uh, very uh, famous with the fact that they hold the bow very very like almost on the stick at the time you know and the hand was tilting too much like almost the pinky never touched like with a very small touch over the bow but eventually when the, the frog this little part down here came you know came to existence in a, a, a more uh, contemporary way so they moved the hand down but still their hold was very tilted like something like they put their hand literally like this and so I'm gonna just uh, do a few notes and you'll see the difference you know of uh, this holding so that's uh, uh it's um uh, it takes uh, takes a lot of pr uh, pressure uh, over your wrist and a little bit in the forehand, but uh, they use a lot of uh, flexible wrist and fingers to compensate 
the absence of uh, the other fingers that are steady on on the bow. The second one is the Italian. The Italian has been more more closely to the German ones, but uh, what the German system is is that they divide and they separate the weight and the positions of all the fingers. So, for instance, I've studied on this under this system. So. Uh, it, they practically put your finger so the middle goes literally somewhere in, in between this part here you know here then the ring points to the eye you know the bull eye or the fish eye so here then we step up naturally with the pinky over this section and then we just put very naturally naturally the pointing or index uh, somewhere between the first knuckle line and here you know a lot of people you can see they they go over this way no it should be somewhere here so here 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 and here and the thumb locks the thumb locks yeah and somehow you divide the pressure you have the whole pressure to your bow and the sound becomes more steady. Let, let's see the difference of the sound. It's, you, you can feel like you can work most, you know. This is a system that combines flexibility and workout of all of your five finger fingers. And the other one that developed eventually after the French, German and Italian is the one that we call Russian system. But interesting fact, the, the Russian school of music was uh, established by Germans, Austrians and French musicians uh, that makes a, a mixture of you know collaboration and technique that it's very hard to distinct. Uh, so in our days uh, in our days you may probably see that the Russians keep their hand a little tilted like this not as the French system but it's more like tilted on the side, up front, you know, here. between the German and the French system. It's very flexible and very soft, like you have the feeling that the bow is floating over, over the fingerboard. Look, you know, 
Uh, let me see. It's more flexible, uh, and that's why uh, most of the, the current uh, violinists and musicians are from Slavic countries like uh, Russia, Bulgaria, and Germany. So the German system still keeps one of the best projection, sound projection, and uh, certainness makes the sound really flash, really beautiful. So this is the German here. Too much of a pressure, you know, your hand comes natural. today so remember German system use all of its its fingers right and the middle part of the pal as a center of a balance French system it's very uphold here and very tilted like this they are characterized with lots of flexible you know movement from the wrist and the elbow and the forehand and of course our day Russian system. Russian system comes from development between French and German Austrian system. So it's more like they use also most of their fingers, but instead of being more centered, like you know, a little bit centered, like in the German here, right? This way, they are more tilted, like on the side, but still a deep catch. Right, this way. See? The then German and French. Thank you for watching. That's for me today. I wish you a wonderful rest of the day. Bye now!